How did a, a, a girl love you? Well, you st you change your thinking in the first place. <laughs> Getting a girl to love you is not something you are aiming for as a goal. It just happens, man. Because you're an awesome guy. Want a girl to love you and not to, not to manipulate her into loving you? There's a huge difference. Just be an awesome guy. You'll get a girl to love you. Wanna buy a flat in Poland? Probably not. To all the, Pol to all the Poles out there, what are you, what would you say? Are the girls, are the girls cute in Poland? Okay, so most, most of the answers were like, you got beautiful girl. Maybe I'll reconsider. <laughs> you prefer Swedish girls? Yeah, they are a little bit out of reach though. And I think it's pretty difficult to immigrate to Sweden, right? Sweden has a really strict immigration policy, right? I don't think it would be that easy to just move to Sweden and get a... The thing is, guys, whenever you are um, outside of your country, it's always easier. It's always easier to pick up girls if you're outside of your home country. Because you're gonna be the exciting guy from another country. It's either your dialect or your looks. You're gonna be the odd one out, and that is good. You're, you're special, you know? Your success with girls is gonna be a lot higher when you are in another country. As long as you speak the language, you're gonna have a higher success rate. <laughs> Baxter, thank you for second, seconding me on that one. All of your football teammates were foreign, so it was really easy for them to get girls. It is, it is like that. It's crazy. You go into a different country, it's so easy. Or easier, at least. If you know how to talk to the five sentences with a girl, it's so easy. One thing that I like to do is go into like an Australian pub or into a British pub. And, you know, be the Austrian there. That works great. Yeah, that too. Also, yeah, true. That 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 is additional because they, they get into that mindset that it's going to be a romantic fling because that guy is never ever going to come back or is probably away for a long time after I met him. That is another factor that, you know, plays a role. <laughs> Advice to get a girlfriend? Be very social. Then it happens all by itself. It's fine to sit at home, but you also need to go out. You don't need to be out 24-7, but sure, the more you are out, the easier it is to socialize, the easier it is to get a girlfriend. I don't know, isn't that basic? Isn't that like super basic stuff? I mean, what do you think is gonna happen if you sit at home like, all day? It's fine to sit at home, but not 24-7. If you're only at home, you're never gonna meet someone. It's, isn't, that, isn't that super basic? A girlfriend costs too much, dude. There's so much wrong. There's so much wrong with that sentence. Oh. <laughs> sure, let's go basic here. What can you do to meet people and socialize? Well, you could get a job. You can socialize people getting a job. Or you do a hobby. A hobby. Where you need to meet other people. Could be yoga. Dude, go to a yoga class. So many beautiful girls in a yoga class. Even if you're the only dude in the entire yoga class. Trust me, 50% of those girls are single. That's like a statistic, at least in Austria. 50% of people are single. 50% of those yoga chicks are probably single. If you don't want to do yoga, do any sport or any hobby in general, you're gonna meet men and women. You're gonna socialize, you're gonna meet people. You're gonna get a girlfriend eventually. Just don't be an idiot. Be a regular human being. You will find another regular human being. You want a better human being? You need to become a better human being. <laughs> You want a fantastic girlfriend, you need to be a fantastic boyfriend. Nothing in life works out unless it's in a balance. Break dance club, nice girls too. Dude, dancing, dancing, lots of girls. Will a girl like video games? Dude, trust me. A lot more girls than I thought play video games. That was kind of one of the epiphanies that I had. As long as you talk passionate, passionately about something, girls are gonna be hooked, you know? If they see your passion, that is so important. You know, there are so many boring guys out there. If you're the one that is passionate, it doesn't even matter what you're passionate about. As long as you can show her that passion, you know, she kind of imagines you to be a passionate guy in every other aspect in life as well. Including the sack. So, you know. 
it's gonna help you. <laughs> Girlfriend didn't like games until he showed her life is strange. I mean, that game is catered to females more than us guys. But hey, game anyways, right? See, the, the point is not sounding like a nerd. That is totally fine. You can, you can sound like a nerd. Girls pro most of the time won't care. It's about, are you passionate, you know? You're passionate when you talk about shit. Like a girl, but you don't know if you have a chance. Well, think about the worst case. What happens if you do nothing? You have no chance. <laughs> you have zero chance if you don't even try, man. Let's say you try. You actually have a chance, you know? You know how I motivate myself consistently? I think about what happens if I don't do it. Let's say there's a girl that I like. If I don't talk to her, well... I will never meet her. That sucks. That sucks even more. That sucks more than getting rejected. <laughs> you don't even know how you got your first girlfriend. It was like, of course, and then boom. Hey, that's, that's what I said earlier. You need to surround yourself with people. <laughs> Doesn't matter, do something. You do something, you're gonna meet people, and stuff can happen. I shall help you with your procrastination. Well, the same thing that I said earlier. Think about the worst case. Think about the worst case. Let's say you keep procrastinating. What is like the worst life you could possibly imagine? Let's say you don't, you don't study for that test. You fail that test, you fail that class, you get kicked out of school. You have to work at McDonald's, something like that. Scare yourself with the worst possible scenario. That is what I do. And the best thing about that, you know, sometimes you're not in the mood for streaming, but the moment, the moment you start streaming, it's awesome again. You feel really good about yourself. You feel good about that choice that you made. Sometimes you just need to start and it's awesome. If a girl said she missed you two weeks ago and you didn't do anything for two weeks, well, she found some, someone else to fill that void. You want to meet better people? Become a better person first. It's the hardest thing to do, but it also gives you the best results. You know why you think rejection is a bad thing? Because you think that is your last chance. If you're like, it has to be this girl, you know, you get up the courage to talk to that girl once. The only girl you've ever talked to, right? You get, you get up all your courage. And if she rejects you, then you have no more chances, right? That's how now it is, you have an infinite amount of chances, even with the same girls. Um, at a party, I was talking to the same girl six or seven times. The seventh time I talked to her, she talked back. It took seven times. I met that girl seven times at the party. After the seventh time I talked to her, that was the maximum. I never had to talk seven times to a girl to get someone to notice me. But still. At the, after the seventh time, six rejections later, she talked to me. And I hooked up with that girl later. But just think about that for a second. How to gain self-confidence? That's a deep question. The thing is, in order to be truly self-confident about yourself, you kinda need to be proud of yourself. If you don't really like yourself, how are you gonna be confident and how is anyone else gonna like you? What worked for me was to get my life in order. You know? Finish university. Get a job, goals, something you want to do. But the thing is, once you get into that, in that upwards spiral, you start doing the things that you actually want to do. For me, it was streaming. Get your life in order, whatever that means to you. That is like the core reason for not being confident. And what can I say? Being confident with girls is the non plus ultra. It's the most important thing.